Hey everyone, we're here at the Susan Langren Gym. Today our focus is going to be on overhand and underhand throwing. And also we're going to talk about the movement of leap. First thing, you'll need some equipment. We have four different objects here. We have a little small foam ball, we have a yarn ball, we have our eyeball, or we have socks. Anything that you have at home, you can use. I'm going to demonstrate with this yarn ball. So first we're going to talk about the overhand throw. Remember throwing, you step in opposition. I'm a right-handed thrower, so I bring the ball up to my ear. I step with my opposite foot, which is my left. Bring my arm way back, follow through, throw it, and follow through. That's an overhand. If you're left-handed, be the opposite. Ball in left hand, step in with your right foot and throwing it through. Always getting that follow through in. For the underhand, I'm stepping still opposition. Bring the ball down, back follow through. Same thing if you're left-handed. Ball in the left hand, step, throw, follow through. So there's our th little throwing lesson. Now Mrs. J is going to talk about the leap and then the setup for our little ex activity here. Okay. So for the leap, a leap is you step on one foot and that's your takeoff foot and then your other leg leaps forward and you land on that foot and then you're going to leap forward and land on the other foot. There's no extra step in between. So I'm going to show you that right over here. I'm going to do a little bit of a run. I'm going to leap, land, leap, and back. If I was coming back, I would go leap, land, leap. Okay? The setup, we've taken a bucket, our big red bucket, and we put it down. Then about 15 feet away, put a chair. On the chair is a paper plate with an X on it. That is our target. Okay? If you don't have a paper plate, you can use um, any piece of paper, whatever. Then I take in two towels and I lay them down and about four feet apart, I have laid another towel on. Okay? That is going to be our goal. Which piece of equipment do you want to Oh, I'll try that eyeball. This Ooh. is And then we'll time you for a minute and see how you do with target throwing. Well, this is kind of a practice round for you. So she's going to do her overhand throw first, stepping in opposition. Boom! Nice. She gets the point. She leaps, and then she does her underhand throw. Opposition, trying to get the bus. Oh, good try, Mrs. J. Then she would pick it up again and keep going. And we will this go for less a minute. Kill the target. I know it. Look at that. Boom. Oh, awesome. Hit the chair. Nice. And she just gets wherever it goes, and then she leaps back. And I toss her hand. Toss first. Yeah. Oh, that was so close. She only have two points. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so you get a point every time you hit your target, and every time you get in the bucket. And you're going to have a minute. Mrs. J is going to do it with you. Right. I'm going to time you and put some music on. Okay, so you got some fun music to go with this. All right, so let's get this going here. All right, are you ready, Mrs. J? I'm ready, Mrs. J. Okay, are you ready at home? We hope you are. Here we go. i got to get my timer here. Have one minute. Ready, go. Good throw in opposition. Nice, Mrs. J. And she does her leap. One, two, awesome. She goes under half. Woo! Good point. Mrs. J now switch in 30 seconds. We both get to do it. Awesome, Mrs. J. Yeah! You still hit it! Good lead! Sometimes your ball might go flying. That little eyeball gets away, doesn't it? it does. Now she's gonna go underhand. There 